Remy, guess what? I was able to find some wool and some wood, and we're finally gonna get some beds. It took me all day to find the sheep, but I finally found some. Oh my gosh, finally! You know, sleeping on the floor wasn't as fun as I thought it would be. I could imagine. It was never going to be fun. I don't know why you thought it was gonna be great. Um, but so let me make some beds now, and then we'll head uh, to sleep. Uh, let's see. Let's make a couple of these. Oh, we even have some extra wool left. Perfect. Let's do this. There we go. Alright, you can have this one. Don't start sleeping in my bed, though. And I'll take this one. Alright, let's go make sure there's nothing out. Who is this? What are you doing in my house, Mavis? Oh my gosh, people just come to my house whenever they want. Hi, Nola. Just want to take a look around, make sure everything is safe before I head over to sleep. Wait. Why is Callie... <gasps> Let's pretend we didn't see that. That's Jacob. And Jacob is married to Ellis. So, why is he in Callie's house sleeping on her bed? Mm, seems like somebody's cheating. But where's Ellis? Where is she? Is she not staying at her house? Maybe she kicked him out? Where could she be? Wait. She's sleeping at Amity's house. Oh my gosh. I think somebody cheated. <gasps> what if Callie's a homewrecker? Why is she just staring at him as well? That's strange. I'm not going to get involved. I mean, maybe Ellis knows that's why she's staying with Amity? There, there they are. They're talking. Is he leaving now? Where is he gonna go? Oh, he's going over to my house. Maybe he... I don't trust... You know what's weird? Jacob was around my house a lot. Like, being really flirty with Remy. And now, I find out he's talking to Callie while he's married to Ellis. That doesn't make sense. Let's go try to talk to him and see, like, how he is. Hello, Jacob. I'm doing good. How are you? Are you okay? An apple a day keeps the zombies away. I know it does. You're funny, aren't you? Um, so you're married. <laughs> Why should I be thrown in a dungeon? I'm sorry that I brought up your marriage. I didn't know it was going to offend you. Um. Okay. Are you going to... Oh, it looks like he got mad. Sorry, I must have offended him. Alrighty, but today we have a lot to do. Because we are going... I got to warn Remy. I, when he leaves, I got to tell Remy to stay away from Jacob. So I don't trust him. He might be a nice person, but to me... He seems like a cheater, so she's going to have to stay away from him. But we have a lot of work to do because we want to throw a party, you know, for everybody to come around to our house so they could get to know us, all of that good stuff. And I want to make sure it's nice. What I did is our backyards are all separated, but before I knew Callie was, I don't know, with Jacob, um, I asked her if it'd be okay if we could use her backyard, so we actually took the fence down the middle, and we're going to be using all of that area for our little gathering and stuff. So I got to make some tables, some chairs, have to get the house fixed up before everybody comes over. Um, I think we'll be okay on food. I'm going to go check on the farms a little bit later. Um, there's some pigs walking around, so I'm thinking maybe I could just get a few of them together, and maybe we could have a little nice pig roast or something as well but i'm excited i'm excited to get to know everybody i don't know how i'm gonna be when i see ellis i think it's i don't know i don't want to get involved because i just got here and i really don't know what's going on maybe jacob wasn't doing anything wrong i don't know but at the same time if that was me i would want to know so maybe if i could find a way to bring it up to ellis without necessarily saying jacob was cheating then maybe but I don't know, maybe I should stay out of it. Stay out of the drama and not get involved. Maybe that's the best option. I don't want 
Ellis to hate me and think I'm trying to stir up some some trouble for her and stuff. So I don't know. I think that should be enough wood to make some tables and chairs and stuff. But I hope Jacob's gone. I don't know why he's just hanging around my house. You should have seen him. He was all over Remy. And I didn't know he was married at first because he was like, I, I was like, if I didn't know better, I think he was like hitting on her. No, he's still here. Oh, my God. Who is this? Oh, this is Heath. Oh, no, this is Rayleigh. Hey, how are you? And I got to send out invitations as well, or at least let everybody know that the party's going on. All right, let's go ahead and uh, make some of these little chairs and stuff. I don't know how many we need. Uh, you know what? Another thing is, I don't know if I should invite Adam or not. I want to invite him because I want to invite everybody, but I don't want him to tell me no. And then I, I, he might find it a little bit weird that I'm trying to like invite him to a party because he's like he's running this village. Um, but I think it's a nice thing to do. Invite him, see what he says. I'm just so afraid he's going to be mean to me like he always is. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. But maybe if we invite him over, become his friend. You know, he'll feel more comfortable with us. Because I guess with him, he's a bit skeptical because he doesn't he doesn't know me. But I still got to get to know him so I can find out who he owes these things to. Like this, I don't know. All right, so let's go ahead and place some tables down. I'm wondering if I should do, like, just little tables on their own with, like, four seats. Just kind of like something like this. Or if we should do just a big, big, huge table. Because what I could do is I could have like, oh, these are nice. What I was thinking about doing is have a little set of four here, four here, and four here. Um, and then that way everybody could kind of have their own conversations. We could walk around and talk to everybody. That's one option. Or we could just have a really long table, put some more seats here and stuff. I might do two like this, actually, because there's going to be a lot of people I gotta figure out how many we need. And I need to mow this lawn. Oh my gosh, it's a mess. Gotta cut all this grass. I don't want people... Don't you hate walking on grass? Like when it's long and it's like poking and stuff and then it makes you all itchy. That's not fun. So let's go ahead and do all this. Clean it up. Oh, perfect. So I would like to get some music. Get some nice light around because it's gonna be dark. Uh, let's see. So what are you doing today, Remy? You're just hanging out today? It's good to see you too. I just saw you a little while ago. Um, look. Now that Jacob's not here, I want you to be careful with him, okay? Why? He's really nice. Well, he is married. And he is really nice. And it's great if he becomes a really good friend of yours. Just remember that he's married. What are you trying to say? Look, don't take it the wrong way. I'm not saying you're going to do anything wrong, Remy. It's him I'm worried about. Oh, okay. I would never take him from Ellis. I know you wouldn't. Oh, hey again. Uh, what's going on with you today? You're just, just working on something, you know, for the party coming up. You're welcome to come with Ellis, you know, your wife. You know, it'll be nice for you guys to spend a little time together. Um, don't you think you should go see her or something? I'm, I, I'm gonna go check on her and just see how she's doing. Remy, remember what I told you. Um, let's go, let's go. Where did I see her last? She was at Amity's house. Is she still there? No, she's not. Is she in here? No, that's Heath. No, that's Cena. Where is she? I just... Saw she was just there. Maybe I'll check tonight. I'll have a look around and see if she... Oh, there she is. Hey, Ellis. I'm doing good. How are you? You look really nice. Uh, let's see. Uh, you should be thrown in dungeon. No, I shouldn't. Um, I just wanted to bring you some bread. I made some last night for people, and I thought, you know, you could have a little bit more since um, I know that you like it. So here you go. All right. Also, I'm going to have a party, so you're more than welcome to come with uh, Jacob. Okay? Um, all right. So we got to go tell everybody else later on today. What else do we need? I see some pigs over there. Let's see if the carrots have grown back so we could get the pig for um, the food. I can't just give them bread tomorrow. I got to give them good food. I got to throw a good party. Um, let's see. Have the, oh, there. Yeah, we have some. Perfect. All right. Let's replant this. We got to fix these farms still. All right. Um, there's one there. And uh, there was one over there as well. Okay. Hopefully it's still there. You coming, little pig? 
<gasps> Ooh, some pumpkin pie would be nice as well. Ah, we're definitely going to make some pumpkin pie. Uh, we're going to have some pork chops. Come on. Oh, there's one up there. Okay, come here. You don't want to come along with me? There's one up there. I wonder if you could get it down. Let's see. Oh, look! Hey, Kelly. Haven't seen her before. Um, come here, little pig. Can we get down? Can we get it down? I don't want it to die. So maybe we can make some nice little stairs for it to go up and down. Come here, little piggy. Come here. Everyone's probably wondering what I'm doing. Come on. Come this way. You could do it. Don't be scared. Come on. Maybe he's freaked out. He's scared of heights. All right. Ugh. Go, go, go that way. Yes, like that. There you go. Per oh! Ooh! All right. Come on. Just one more jump. One more jump. Go, go, go. There we go. Perfect. Come on. So now we need this one and that other one, and then uh, it'll. Yeah, it'll be great. Okay, come on. Come on. You could do it. Let's go. Get this one as well. Perfect. Now we got the two. Now we gotta find somewhere to put them for now. Maybe I, I might just dig a hole in the ground for now and then just leave it there. All right. Come here. I don't want it to be too small though. They don't deserve to be trapped. Maybe I could fit it in my house. Uh, let's see. You guys, where's the other one? Come on. Look, we only got a little bit more to go. Come on, pigs. You're going to be the main attraction to the party tomorrow. I'm going to tell everybody they're actually going to get to eat some meat. So I need you guys to go in there. Come on. Perfect. Now, just you. There we go. Nice. Now i got to block the door. I'm going to leave Jacob here with the pigs. I'm just kidding. So there we go. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and make them have little piggy babies. Uh, let's do this. And let's take this down. So we can put the fence back. Oh, look at that. I would like to get more so the little baby piggy doesn't get left by the... Let's see if Jacob's there again. If he's there again, there's definitely something going on. He is. Maybe they're divorced. Maybe Ella's... Well, not divorced, but maybe they're going to break up soon. I don't know. So, are you excited for the party tomorrow, Remy? Yes. What are the pigs for? They're going to be our food, you know. What? No. Why are you so upset? They are too cute to kill. But we, we need to have some kind of food for the party. What are we going to do if we don't have the pigs? Look, don't worry. We're only going to have one of them. We won't kill all of the pigs. It doesn't matter. Okay, how about... If you can think of something else to make for the party, we'll keep the pigs. Can they be my pet? You want them as your pet? <sighs> you could keep one. That's it. In the backyard after the party. Yay! But for now, let's go to sleep in our comfortable beds. And we'll figure out the party stuff tomorrow. Okay. And also, we have to decide if we want to invite Adam or not.